Eight-year-old Ethan Paquette cut classes in order to attend today's parade. It was an easy decision. He's followed the Sea Dogs all year and says today is one of the best days of his life. It was very emotional to me because I get to see the Memorial Cup and the President's Cup once again. Ethan was one of thousands who lined St. John's King Street and Boardwalk to welcome the players home and see this, their hard-won Memorial Cup. <laughs> you don't want to be in my heart. You don't want to be in my stomach. Not today. <laughs> it's exciting to see these kids and all the talent that they have and they've, they've come so far. It was an outpouring of adulation and civic pride, and in the middle of it all, the city's newest hero, the humble and super talented Jonathan Uberto. He scored the final goal that clinched the most prestigious prize in Canadian junior hockey and was named tournament MVP. You know, I think everybody is, is a star in the team. I think we all work hard like, to get that, and I think uh, we did it as a team, and I think we're very happy for that. Today's parade marks the end of a hugely successful season for this team. Still, now that the Sea Dogs have made junior hockey history, their future is about to change. For some players, like team captain Mike Thomas, the win and parade caps off a five-year career with the Sea Dogs, much of it when the team was one of the league's worst. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's going to be sad to go, but uh, I'll be down to visit St. John for sure, and uh, this is a great way to finish. And more still may also be leaving. At least nine players on the Sea Dogs are being eyed for the 2011 NHL draft. And two time Canadian coach of the year, Gerard Gallant, is rumored to be NHL bound himself. As of right now, everything's go, go ahead for next year, but we'll see what happens. It's a long summer, and I'm very happy to be where I'm at right now. But today was about a city's love for its young team and pride in its remarkable accomplishment. Enough pride to shut a city down and fill its streets. Sarah Consmo, CBC News. I want to say a special thanks to a few people.